Hi guys, it's France. Welcome to the sixth mixed media shorty. I'm starting with a manila tag and some Tim Holtz tissue paper, which I'm applying using Finn's soft matte gel and a silicone paintbrush. I'm applying the glue on both surfaces to make sure that everything will stay in place once I start playing with water. And I want my tissue wrap to be as flat as possible as I will have a lot of texture going on top of it. Once it's more or less dry, I can trim the excess away and I'm not ripping it away or tearing it off because it's not dry enough, I just don't have the patience. And once this is completely dry, I can go in with the modeling paste. As I want the texture to be less recognizable, I'm using two different stencils. So first applying the first one, drying it completely, and then coming back in with the second stencil. As I want to have the same reaction all over the surface before I go in with my color, I am applying a thin layer of heavy gesso on top of everything. Um, first I diluted it with water, then completely dried it, but it was a bit too light to my liking, so you will see that I'm repeating the same thing over again, this time with no water, just to make sure that I have enough of the gesso all over, as I want to work with watercolor. I don't have the kind of grey that I would like to use, so I'm just mixing up my own using some black and some white and blending it with water and then applying it on the tag. I just kept playing until I had the kind of color that I liked, uh, alternating heating, drying, adding water and adding color. I wanted to add some blue shading on the edge of the modeling paste, but knowing that the modeling paste would, uh, wouldn't survive the pencil, I decided to pick it up from another piece of paper and then applying it. But it was too soft to my liking.
So after a while I decided to just go back in with some more watercolor, which was the exact result that I was looking for. Again, blending it with some water and then taking away where I have too much water and keeping on applying, drying, adding water until I had the shading that I liked. And to add even more contrast, I went in with the white on the opposite side. Using a lighter shade of blue, less water and more paint, I'm applying some splatters as well. And as I like the effect of the shading with the blue and the white, I did the same thing on all the little um, raised parts of the modeling paste. I picked out a couple of home rusted metal embellishments 
so these were rusted using vinegar and salt and again a lot of patience and then applying them either using breads or soft matcha. I'm adding one of my homemade little hearts, which I am not showing you how to make. That is the content of uh, my in-person classes. And I changed my mind about where to put it because it was bigger than I intended it to be. To make my tag look like a tag again, I added some washers at the top. Um, again, home rusted. And as this one wasn't flat enough to stick in place you will see that well sometimes you have to do what you have to do and smash it down so once it was flattened down again i could glue it down and add a little piece of string uh, once the glue was dried but to add the same accent as i have around the modeling paste i run the round with a uniball signal pen And now I can add my little piece of string. That's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And see you back next time. Ta-da!